What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be trying five Korean or Asian style snacks that I got from H Mart, which is an Asian market. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so the first snack that I'm gonna try is some kind of chip. Turtle chips, so it's a churro. So this was $5.99. Bag turtle chips was $5.99. Can y'all see that? So let's try it. Yeah, this smell like this smell like um Count Chocolia. Count Choc Count Chocula. I think that's how you say it. That cereal with the vampire, the chocolate cereal, that's exactly what this smell like. But yeah, let's try it. Okay. Pretty good. It tastes like the cereal too, but it has a hint of cinnamon. I can definitely taste cinnamon in it. And it's real light and fluffy. It's like, it's like a cheese puff, but lighter than a cheese puff. Okay. Choco churros. So I like it. Next up we have chocolate assortment box. This was also $5.99. Look at that. Can't wait to try this. So how does it open up? Oh, it has like a little compartment to open. Oh, that's nice. So it comes like you just open the box and inside the box is a bag. So inside the box is a bag and inside the bag are the chocolates. Pour them out. And how many different flavors are there? Oh, so the flavors are in the back, but I can't read it. It's in some type of Asian text. But here's the flavors, Let's take a look at it. All right, so let's try one of each. Strawberry, milk cocoa. So it says milk choco, so. Milk Choco, some sort of fancy chocolate thing. We'll try that one too, of course. This one's milk, so I'm guessing it's milk chocolate. Get that one. This one's white cookies, it says. It says white cookies. And the last one, also another milk cocoa one, but it's in different color, so let's try it. Try this one first, the milk cocoa one. Pretty good. It has some sort of a, some sort of a crunchy like cracker thing in the inside. Pretty good. Pretty standard chocolate. Nothing too special about that. Let's try the strawberry jelly. That one's pretty good too. You can really taste the strawberry jelly. There's no there's no filling in it, but you can taste the jelly. Crazy how they do that. This one's cookies and cream. Tastes just like cookies and cream. Just like it. That was my favorite one. Okay. This fancy looking one. Got a strong smell to it. And it's hard. I think, I think this is like me. I think it's dark chocolate. Pretty good, but it's some kind of hard texture in it. I think it's supposed to be like caramel or something. No, I think it's coffee. It's like caramel coffee flavor. And it's getting stuck in my teeth. We're gonna try this milk chocolate one. I think they're all milk chocolate. With different like surprises in the inside because they all got the same name on it pretty much but they have little differences in taste man this one was so strong that i can't even really taste the other one okay it's kicking in now it tastes like it tastes like if you put chocolate on a graham cracker so i mean pretty good not special about these so far i got two left let's get to it i'm gonna do the other pink package it just says milk chocolate again so i guess nothing too special about it a hint of strawberry so i guess they have one strawberry jam and then one that's just a hint of strawberry and they all have that cracker in the inside and last but not least milk chocolate this one's pure chocolate there's no cracker in the inside okay i like that it was good I have this cold brew coffee bts edition so let's try it so i'm gonna shake well i don't even know this character do y'all know this character I mean, this, this member, if y'all do put that in the comments, teach me something. So we're gonna try it. This is unheated extract. So this is cold press, coffee bean from Ethiopia and Rwanda. Let's try it. it smells kind of sweet to be coffee, but it smells good though. It smells almost like ginseng. If you ever had a ginseng drink, that sweet honey smell to it, it's real light. Man, it's kind of late in the day. I don't really want to drink coffee. I don't want to be up all night. Let's do it though. There's only 10 calories in this. So this must just be black coffee then. Oh, yeah, this is just pure black coffee. I might not finish this. 
Ooh. All right, here's this is the interesting one I wanted to try. Been waiting for this one. Sweet and dry hot mango. So this is like a candy, a candy treat. And they somehow made it spicy with like chili flakes or something. And it comes in a nice container, look at that. I don't know if y'all can tell, but the paper right there is like reflective, right? some kind of reflective tape. And I can't even get into this. It's always something. It's not even a joke or nothing, but I really can't get into this. And that didn't even open it. With the, so this must not be for children or something, because it's not, I can't get into it and I'm not even a kid. This must be, oh yeah, it was spicy. Why would it be for kids? But we're going to judge and see just how spicy it is. I'm going to get a knife. I'll be right back. This thing is glass. Ooh. Couldn't get into it, so I had to break it. So this is the first downside of this thing right here. You had to break it open just to get into it. All right, this looks good. This looks interesting. Let me put this up in the camera for y'all. Look at that. Look at all those seasonings and stuff on it. All right, so let's eat one. I'm gonna get the one that looks like it has the most chili flake on it. Okay, it's a whole lot of sugar on it. It's like sugar and salt on it. And there's a hint of, high, of spiciness, but not really. It has kind of a weird taste to it. It tastes like some sort of fruit, not mango necessarily. It tastes, it just tastes fruity, but bland at the same time. And it's like those sugars and those salts and seasons on it. That's what gives it flavor. But I don't wanna eat too much of that. That's kind of, it's kind of crazy right now. Get some more of this black coffee. Okay. That is some strong coffee. Smells sweet to not have any sugar on it. This right here, I didn't say the price on it, but this right here, I think was, this was also, this was $6.99. BTS edition, that was $6.99. This right here, this was $2.49. So this wasn't even, this was the least expensive thing and probably my least favorite, but it was still pretty good though. Next we have seaweed. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I already be eating this a lot, but I'm gonna let y'all know about it just in case y'all wanna get some too one day. There we go. Green tea seaweed. This is the best seaweed. Me and my family, we get this all the time. Now, I sound weird at first, green tea on a seaweed sheet, but it's pretty good. So if y'all have never had seaweed before, it comes in paper thin slices like this. It's even thinner than paper for real, for real. You can even see through it a little bit, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Just like I remembered it. And it's so thin that I like to put more than, like I like to put this much in my mouth at once. The good stuff. Now, this right here, don't eat that. It'll kill you. Okay. Next up, we have these right here. I've been saving these for last because I'm interested to see what kind of filling that is and how it tastes. Seaweed was $2.49 also. This custard soft cake is $5.99. So a soft cake with plenty of custard cream. Let's try it. I love cake. And I got that coffee too to go with it. Oh man, let's do it. Let's try it. They come in these little packages. It's funny because the packaging inside the box looks nothing like the, the, the brand cover on the outside of the box. So you wouldn't even think that this came from that, that little cake. That thing is cute. And I'm about to eat it. See that feeling? You know what, I'm gonna try to get close to y'all. Cheers. Mm-hmm. That's magic right there. I'm gonna open up another one and show you the inside. You can see that. So it's not a, it's not that much cream in there, but good. I'm gonna drink it without the coffee. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat it without the coffee to see actually what the flavor is because I can't tell what it is. And the box don't say anything about what, what flavor it is. I almost want to say banana. Well, I did say banana. Even though it has a lot of cream in it, somehow it still dries your mouth out a lot. You need, you're gonna need something to drink eating this. It's not a moist type of um, type of cake. It's not bad though. It's still pretty good. It's just you know you're gonna need something to drink when you're eating something like that. What it tastes like? It tastes like cornbread, but just with a little bit of banana, sweet, Swedish, bland flavor of banana. And I don't even know if banana is the right uh, choice to say, but I mean, that's the closest thing I could think of. And it's yellow too. I was hoping it was uh, lemon. I love lemon pie and lemon cake and all that. So that's what I was looking forward to, but it's, it's not lemon. If I had to pick one of these, that was my favorite. Anyway, I'm not going to include the seaweed because 
I always get this and I already know I like it a lot. I'm about to contradict myself right now. It's going to be either between this, the mango chili candy, and the chocolate turtle churro. Because these right here, they're kind of, kind of growing on me. It's like an acquired taste. Once you eat it, it's not like a... I think what threw me off is I was expecting it to be candy-like. And it's not candy-like. It's like actually an actual fruit but it has like sugar and stuff on it so it's not really sweet in the candy sense but it's sweet and you can still tell it's fruit you eat and not candy and it's kind of growing on me i like it if i had to pick one that was my favorite i'm gonna say these are a tie i like these both equally just in different ways i haven't come up with a ranking system yet which i will do because i do plan on doing more of these videos if y'all have any recommendations of food y'all want to see me try from h mart or from any asian market um, put it down in the comments or if you have any food recommendations from any like tradition, any country, any any um, way of life, I don't know. Put it down in the comments and I'll look into it. I might have to go order stuff from Amazon though, because I don't know if I can find every kind of food that I guys put. So thanks for watching guys, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, keep eating. You gotta grow up big and strong.